Clubbing and TMTV. Go ahead, Miss Misha. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, thank you for joining me. How are you all today? We are fantastic, and I am looking forward to talking about you. Not you in particular, but <laughs> by Carol. Is it Carol Kapnitz? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You. Nice. In honor of National Stalker Month, we get to delve into the behaviors of Joe. Is that even his real name? It is Joe Goldberg. Yes. Joe Goldberg? Uh -huh. Yes. Good old Joe. Now, I have to ask the question. Uh, I saw the Netflix, but was the book better? Yes. In my opinion, um, definitely the book was better. Um, I feel like for Joe in the book, Joe was a lot more methodical. It didn't seem like he was kind of scattered, like how I felt like in a TV series. In a TV series, one of the things that I noticed that they had Joe like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the body or I don't know what I'm going to do about this. That isn't Joe in the book. Joe in the book is always thinking, always planning, and he he's a very interesting character to follow because of the way his mind processes things. Well, one of the things that kind of disturbed me was the way that his mind processed things, how he just, he was having this entire conversation with this woman that didn't really know he existed and he kind of insinuated himself into her life but then midway through the Netflix season one you start kind of wondering which one of them is actually the nutty one you know because uh, mm. she starts exhibiting some behaviors that are questionable that kind of leads him on and have him think in one way or she's wishy-washy and I'm not I'm not please do not write in I am not faulting <laughs> victim. Yes. Let's make it very clear I am not faulting the victim but there are certain behaviors that she's exhibiting that are kind of wishy-washy and kind of questionable and kind of leading him on and making him think that maybe she does feel this way or maybe she doesn't feel this way. I don't really know. Yeah, and in the book, Benji actually does tell Joe that Beck is crazy and she's playing him. I can't remember if he said that in the show because I watched the show like, last year, but I remember in the book, Benji did tell Joe to watch out for Beck. He does it. In the, yeah. show, in the show, he basically is just like, yeah, like, you want Beck? Like, essentially, like, Beck is a little nutty. That girl is crazy and, and different things like that. I think, though, compared to, and this is me comparing the two characters, when I think about, like, Beck sending mixed signals and different things like that. This is a young woman who is going to school. She doesn't even know who she is half right. of the time. Right. You know, and she's still going about the, she's still trying to wrangle her way from people pleasing and trying to learn how to do things for herself. And part of the reason she's so back and forth, in my opinion, with Joe is because she's got all these people that she's trying to please Peach and mm -hmm. her friends and so do I think at certain points does she genuinely like him yeah he's probably one of the nicest guys she's ever been around unfortunately but at the same time Joe seems to pick up on that pretty fast that yes, you know yes. well they usually say that um <laughs> Predators know how to vi pick their victims, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and he can see her desire to be wanted, to belong, to be loved, and he picks up on that and just takes it to a whole different, different level. Because I think every woman wants a good, sweet, attentive boyfriend, you know, and he comes across as that, you know, just all the little things, and she's just, oh, 
then she realizes, oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I think the big thing between the show and the book is that it makes you kind of question being nice to people in a sense. Like, Beck, the only thing Beck did was speak to him and happen to, like, be educated. Like, like that was it. Like, she read the material that she was coming to pick up. And he fits, you know, she fits his type. So he was just like, yeah, I'm gonna start you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're great. You're you're smart, and like even like like you said, him picking Beck because you know we learned through the series and through the book. Like he, this isn't his first rodeo. He has done this before, and you know just the little things that he knows. You know when he goes into her home and he's just like. You know, in the book, he's like, you know, you're eating all this junk, but don't worry, Beck, when we're together, I'll cook for you. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, really? Mm -hmm. But the thing in the series, and this is the thing, midway through, you're kind of rooting for him. He's that bad guy that you almost sympathize and empathize with, and you, you just want him to find somebody to love him back. And she's not going to do that for me, Joe. And I found myself feeling like I was a stalker because, Joe, sh you don't deserve <laughs> She doesn't deserve you, Joe. You can do better. <laughs> I agree. But I was thinking he might need to find somebody crazy like him. Yeah, because in season two, she's nutty. Mm -hmm. And her family is left side of mm -hmm. you know? And the tables are kind of turned on him. I don't want to go too far into that. Yeah. But in season one, like I said, you just kind of, am I sympathizing with this guy for the right reasons, for the wrong mm. And then he kills somebody. Then I'm like, okay, Joe, no, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, at least for, like I said, mostly because, but I, so clearly I enjoy the book more. I enjoyed okay. the book a whole lot more. I actually felt like I wanted to pull my hair out when I was watching the TV show. Um, I can't stand the TV show. Um, okay. Okay. And part of the reason that is, is because I think they really go through this whole thing of setting up those sympathy points for Joe that they don't do in the book. Okay. So like Paco is one of the characters that comes up. That's the young boy who lives you know, in the hall. And one of the very first episodes you see is him giving Paco some food and then he didn't have food in his own fridge and all this stuff. They do a lot to in the show to make Joe likable. Like, like he's just this guy that just needs love and, you know, he just so happens to stalk people. No, Joe's just a stalker. Like, that's all he is in the book. He happens to be a overly nice stalker like he ain't leaving her notes saying seen you last night and I thought you looked real good like he's not that kind of stalker but they do go through a lot of effort I felt like unnecessarily in the show to make him likable like putting kids in there you know Joe's doing all these great deeds and stuff like that and like I said he does a lot of the same similar things but there's no kid there are no moments of like oh Joe was really Sweet, like she sets up from the beginning. This is what Joe does. Unbalanced. The Joe, Joe unbalanced. yeah, they totally definitely is unbalanced. Is. But in the show, like I can see, once I saw the show, I kind of understood why there was like, you know, people who are kind of like, well, you know, Joe's just the guy who needs to be loved. And then Peach, you know, they use that character as almost like a way to be like, this is a bad stalker. This is a stalker, but you know, he's you know, he's working things out. Like, nah, him and Peach are at the same level. Okay. <laughs> and why did they make Beck so annoying in the show? <laughs> she you was tell me. overly annoying. I'm like, they made it seem like it was her fault that she had a stalker to me. 
That's how I, I, that's what I was saying about the show. Midway yeah. through, you start to kind of feel more sympathy for for Joe. Mm-hmm. And why are you even wasting your time on this woman that doesn't want to really love you back? She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's gonna be at this party <laughs> drinking again, and exactly. you just, you get all of this angst toward toward back, and not realizing that okay, she's actually the victim here. But I think mm-hmm. the show made a point of making him likable so that they could have a series and make you want to continue to follow him and hopefully in the next series or the next season he finds love i'm sorry kamisha misha i didn't mean to uh, interrupt you oh no you i asked the question <laughs> you answered <laughs> <laughs> but yeah peach <sighs> oh she pauses for effect <laughs> like her i do like her because she is that honest friend. Okay. She is the friend that will pull you aside and be like, what's going on? What do you need? This person isn't good for you. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? But I didn't like the way they had her in the show. Yeah. They had her... I don't want to say... <laughs> they had her snobby... Okay. Not friendly. I don't want to use the real word I want to use. <laughs> no. So how was she in the book, though? In the book, she was not as um, intense. Okay. She was not as intense as she was in the show. She was the friend that told her what's what. But in the show, they had her very intense. I just don't know. What do y'all think? Yeah. They amped her up. Yeah. Um, in my opinion too. So Book Peach, um you kinda get I feel like in the show they made it made a big point of being like Peach likes Beck a lot. You know, like I think they really amped that up really fast in the show. Um and compared to Book Peach, Book Peach is this she is a little headstrong. She is really dramatic. But what I really loved about Peach is how like real she was. So I feel like with the show, people are just kind of like <clears throat> almost like slapped in the face with it. Like Peach is this manipulative person who, you know, she clearly likes Beck, but she won't tell Beck that she likes her like that. She keeps trying to do all this overt stuff and drag her everywhere and all this other stuff. Peach in the book is more like come to my party because you're my friend and yes I like you and I want to see you and I'll be around you and I don't want you necessarily around Joe but Joe's a creep um and I can sense that Joe's a creep because the creep in me senses the creep in Joe um identifies creep (laughs) right creep recognize creep and so I feel like that particular aspect of Peach is the same but like in the show it's just almost seen as like this is the version of the bad stalker and one thing that I saw that people kind of was were holding over Peach was that well Peach lied Peach is a liar she like you know she likes Becky she won't tell her how many friends are sitting up there right now got a friend that they like and they haven't said anything right you know what I'm saying that's so that's such a weird comparison considering Joe, you know, locked a guy up in a cage. Didn't he eventually kill him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Oh. I think uh, a lie versus murder <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> Same. Same. Yeah. 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 Sure. Going back to the comparison, like for me, I think the big comparison in the show is like one that Beck apparently attracts a lot of people who stalk her. Mm-hmm. Like she, which is, oh my gosh, the one point in the show that I actually did laugh because the rest of it, I was just like, why is this happening? Um, is Joe finds out about Peach liking Beck essentially. And he is just like, Beck. You have a stalker. I want to be like, no, she's got two stalkers, sir. She has two, not one. Don't exclude yourself. She has both of y'all who have very similar things. 
Exactly. It, it was it was really a, a fantastic read, and I'm looking forward to next month with uh, Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Who who is that one by? Talia Hibbert. Talia Hibbert. Yes, I'm gonna go pick up that one. I'm excited about it. It's that. amazing. Yeah. It's so good. I hope y'all love it. Okay, and what date is that, and what time? It's, it was a really good discussion with you and i'm looking forward to book clubbing next month book clubbing with misha uh with uh get a life chloe brown and who is that by georgina that's talia hibbert talia hibbert yes and book club will be tuesday february 23rd at two o'clock so Ooh, come on in and join us <laughs> excited about that one yes yes it is a wonderful read 